Hey guys, hope you're having a great weekend. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I wanted to do a draft here for a while, so I'm happy to kind of jump into limited for a little bit. Um, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing my channel with someone else, uh, maybe a friend of yours who might also like my content. Um, for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for your support. It does mean the world to me, and this channel would not be possible without you. So thank you guys so much again. If you do really like my content and you want to, you know, leave a tip, thank me, um, there is a way to do it. So if you go to the little more icon, um, you can actually donate via super thanks. So if you want to leave a tip, um, I greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to show your support and your thanks, there's another way to do that. And you can do that right in the, um, through YouTube here. So, all right, let's get into some games. So yeah, we're gonna be jumping in here to a quick draft, Murders at Karlov Manor. Um, I have done almost no limited, but I really do love limited, so I'm excited to try it out, kind of see where it takes us, and yeah, let's jump in. All right, so we have a really nice rare here. Uh, let me switch the view. We've got Deadly Cover Up. So if that wasn't in the pack, I think I would probably be looking at maybe like Dog Walker is really strong. Um, push Pull can be really good. Even Crawl Whipcracker can be an interesting card. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the really powerful rare here. So we'll go with Deadly Cover Up. All right, going into our second pack. Um, I'm certainly, you know, not just going to be forcing mono black um, or you know black x um, strongest cards in this pack i think are a killer among us is probably the best card and then you've got some really good cards here out cold is great season consultant is also really good uh, even llama Su's not bad so i think here i'm going to go with a killer among us i think it has the highest upside uh, we could certainly go with like a black green deck potentially and maybe we'd get back like either like a Crocodile or a Rakish Scoundrel, something like that. So we've got to go with a Killer Among Us here. All right, this is a really nice pick up here. So um, I think the best pick here for us is going to be Nervous Gardener, um, especially with the Killer Among Us that we just picked up. There are some really powerful cards here. You've got Whispering or Vampire um, is a really strong uncommon. Tin Street Gossip is another great uncommon. Uh, I'm not as much a fan of Slimy Dual Leech, but it's certainly not a bad card. And then you have just some solid commons here, like Gorehound, Rebel Belt Maverick, um, even Strider for like making multicolor decks work and make your move is certainly serviceable. But I'm going to go with the Nervous Gardener. I think it's the strongest for us. And then we'll just kind of be happy with almost anything that comes back. All right, so just on the heels of that, we've got... Um, a really strong removal spell here in push-pull. Um, there is quite a few good cards here. Maverick Thopterist is like one of the best card uncommons here in the set. Um, we don't have either color yet, so I think it's, a, you know, it's definitely, it's a strong signal that this might be open. But I also think that like push-pull is good enough, and it's also in colors that we already have. Um, other cards here that are great. Um, Researcher is really good. Get a Leg Up is a fantastic trick. Um, after that, you've probably got like Projector Inspector, Chases On, Undercover Crocodile. So I think we're going to go with Push Pull here. It gives us, I think, probably the most flexibility. And we can still try to be, you know, going with like a solid green black deck. But yeah. All right. Here, best card in this pack is probably Harry Dronesmith. Um, we don't really have any red yet. I guess technically push pull could be considered red also, but I think I'm happy here with maybe like a crowd control warden. Um, this is certainly the best in like green white, but it's not bad in green. Um, it's a little bit slower, but we could try to like pick up like they went this way if we wanted to, you know, potentially splash. Uh, but I think I'd be. I'm happier with Warden here. Repeat Offender is also a fine card. Um, it is a two drop, which is nice, but I think Warden has a bit more upside. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and stick with the green here and pick up the warden. Okay, there's another drone smith. Wow. And another uh, warden. But the best card here, I think, for us is definitely going to be Extract a Confession. So we are passing some pretty good red. Um, so it's clear like red is open here, but so is black and so is a green apparently. So I think I'm going to be happy here with Extract Confession. It's nice removal early. And then next we've got, let's see, what is this? Mystery key. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, but that's in blue. We're not in blue. I think, you know, perfectly serviceable card here is going to be Gravestone Strider. Um, Gadget Technician is a better card. Uh, we could go, I guess, for case if we really wanted to, you know, worry about splashing. I'm not per very excited about Coroner, and the other cards really aren't our colors, so I think Strider is going to be a fine pickup here. All right, now we've got like either like a Sanitation Automaton for like an early drop if we want. Um, one Reconstruction in Vec can be kind of nice, but these do go, do go pretty late. Um, I actually think that Undercover Crocodile is maybe the most interesting card here. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with taking Automaton here. I just am a little bit less of a fan of it. Um, and I think that Crocodile is pretty good in green. We could also pick up like a They Went This Way if we want to like look a bit splashing, you know, potential bombs. Um, so this is maybe like the more you know, kind of staying open pick if we like pick up like a bomb rare in the next pack. So that could be kind of interesting. Um, but I'm happy just trying to go like straight green black here as well. So I think I'm going to go over the Crocodile here. And I guess Dual Leech is fine. There's a lot of decent fours. So maybe we just want to go with the Inspector just as like a, a bit more early game. But let's see. Yeah, I mean, Dual Leech, is, it, it's a decently strong effect. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a Dual Leech here. It's a strong enough card that I don't mind taking it. We could go for Interrogators here as our top end. But I think there's a lot of, like, six drops potentially, so it's more replaceable. And Alley Assailant, I think, is a fine three drop. Okay, there's another dual leech. And I guess we'll take corner here. Not super excited to play it. Oh wow, and we got last pick defender, which we probably will play as a two drop. Wow, some very powerful rares here. We've got Buzz Crusher and Aurelia the Law above. Unfortunately, those are two colors out of what we're playing right now. Um, <laughs> But I think that, yeah, the best card here for us is going to be the Nervous Gardener. Just a really strong pick. Um, Case of the Trampled Garden is also can be quite strong. But I think just, you know, fixing mana, keeping ourselves open is going to be a little better for us. All right, so here we can pick up um, Murder, just some, getting some removal going. And, like, Shadowy Backstreet is also kind of nice. Um... But I think, you know, we, we don't have very almost any removal right now, so Murder is going to be probably a good pickup for us. It's at least instant speed, even though it, you know, doesn't have, like, the benefit of, like, Long Goodbye that targets, um, or that can't be countered when hitting a Morph or a uh, Disguise creature. Um, this is an easy Extract Confection for us. We just want to pick up a little bit more removal. And so, happy to see that. Okay, so wow, another push-pull. Um, this is, a again, a really solid removal spell and win condition in itself. And the question is, do, how much do we want fixing? Like, we could try to pick up the Panther here if we think we might want to splash. I don't think we really need to right now. Um, Eavesdropper is also like a strong four drop, but I think push-pull is actually better. So I think I just want the push-pull here. All right, now I'm happy to take, I think, the eavesdropper. Um, sample collector is also decent. We don't have any collect evidence so far. Um, and I guess like all we're doing to take stuff out of our yard 
he's pull so far. Well, I, I guess we have extract confession. So yeah, we probably can't really support a whole lot with the collect evidence since you've already got two extracts. So I think I'd rather go with the eavesdropper here. Um, Night Trigger Maroi is pretty good. I've been pretty impressed by it. Um, we could also go with like Undercover Crocodelf um, or the Maverick. Maverick is nice. It's like a nice early drop. We don't have a ton of those right now. So that might be, yeah, let's see. I guess we have like some Extract Confession. We have like Push Pull if we need it here early. Hmm. I really like the Night Trigger Maroi. I think it's a very strong wind condition by itself. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Ooh, Long Goodbye is a really nice gift. This is excellent removal. And here, I guess we can pick up a lead pipe if we don't like, if we have a lot of creatures and potentially could use this as like a way to just kind of, not really be a trick, but just like an extra kind of thing to do. Oh, this is nice. So now we've got Gorehound, which can help um, feed our graveyard. And that's good with two extract confessions, um, push pull. And yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of, um, I think that's gonna be a little better for us. Although I suppose Maverick kind of does the same thing and then can pump creatures too. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I, I'll go with the Maverick here. They're, they're pretty similar in what they do. Um, and I like, you know, if we don't have a lot of like two power creatures, Maverick might be a little better. All right, Stalker is a fine pickup here. Gorehound is great. I'll happily play both the Maverick and the Gorehound. Um, yeah, I don't think we're playing any of this stuff. And wow, last pick out cold. All right, so we opened Kellen, Inquisitive Prodigy. Um, it's definitely a bomb. And so I think the choices here is, do we wanna try to splash for Kellen? Um, or do we wanna just go with like the more kind of um, straightforward pick with Flourishing Bloomkin? I think, you know, these are, it's pretty much just between these two cards. In terms of fixing, we have two Nervous Gardeners. We don't have any um, any lands helping out right now. We also do have an out cold, which is a decent splash if we do decide to splash the Kellen. So that is a consideration. Um, and I guess it's just like, how much do we wanna... Hmm. Yeah, this is really a tough pick. Hmm. I guess we have like a fair amount of like double black. We've got like two push pulls or the pull is at least double black, deadly cover up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to just stick with the straight green black play. I don't know if this is right. Um, I know that, you know, certainly Kellen is a bomb, but I think I wanna just try to stay dedicated to just the straight two color deck. Okay, um, here, what is this? Undergrowth Recon. Okay, never mind. Um, so this is between like Eavesdropper, Analyst, not really Repeat Offender, I guess. Yeah, I guess just between Analyst and Eavesdropper. We don't have that many twos, so I guess we could pick up the Analyst. I mean, we do have two push pulls and two extract confessions. So I'm not super worried about early game. We already have two dual leeches and an eavesdropper in our four drop slot. I think this is a better card, but Analyst does also help kind of self mill, which is pretty good with the push pulls and the confessions. So I think even though it's a little bit of a weaker card, I am gonna go with the Analyst here. All right, now I think do we want another Gorehound? Um, I guess we could pick up like a Crocodile as well. Or do we just want the Sample Collector?
Yeah, I guess. Oh, you know what? I noticed we also had the Strider, so maybe we could have done Kellen. I mean, we certainly could have gone for Kellen if we wanted to, but I don't know. Yeah, I think that... Pick up another Gorehound, I guess. So yeah, we have two Extract Confessions, two Push Pulls in terms of um, collecting evidence. Hmm. I think I'll go with Sample Collector here. We might wield a Gorehound. Um, we could pick up Scoundrel. Scoundrel's okay. It's not, like, amazing. We could also try to, like, splash Wisp Drinker Vampire here. But I think now that we're trying to really sort of stick with two color, I, I, I kind of want to see that through a little bit. Um, Meddler is, I think, a little bit better than Scoundrel. Scoundrel might be better in this deck, but we already have some fours. This is a bit cheaper. Toxin Analysis is decent also. So I think I'm just going to go with the Meddler here. Wow, another dual leech. Yeah, I mean, these are not bad in, you know, in tandem. Um, could go with another Gorehound, Toxin Analysis. How much removal do we have? We have Murder, two Confessions, a Long Goodbye two push pulls yeah we have a decent amount of removal deadly cover up I think I'll just pick up another dual leech they seem fine now we're very happy to pick up whipcracker it's gonna be a great pickup and again we could try to splash for a mutation which is a decent splash um, but I think I'm just gonna stick green black here Fender is fine. We could go for Fanatical Strength. I think we have enough removal that I'm not super worried about the Fanatical Strength. So I'm just going to go with the Repeat Offender. And yeah, really happy to pick up another Analyst here. That'll help with our self-mill plan. I'm not excited to play Rot Form Mortipede, but um, eh. I don't think we really want to play anything else here. And happy to pick up one Macabre Reconstruction. Okay, nice Toxin Analysis pickup. So I like where we ended up. I think we definitely could have gone like Splash for Blue and get picked up Kellen, and that would have been fine. But I think that... I'm pretty happy where we ended up. Uh, let's see, where's that? Let's see. All right, so we're not playing the out cold. Probably not playing corner. Let's get these off color cards out of our deck. Not playing any islands or planes. Okay, probably not playing Mortipede. We might not even need the Strider here. I mean, Strider's fine because it does block pretty well. But we've already got like two analysts, so we might not need it. And especially since we're not splashing, I think we can probably cut the strider. I like Whipcracker, Bloomkin. I don't know if we need these repeat offenders. So we're at 48. Probably don't need lead pipe. Mm -hmm. 
I like the Gorehound and the Maverick. Um, the Analysts I think are great as well. I'll try cutting these repeat offenders here. I think we've got enough twos. Although Gardner's really a three. <laughs> So I want to keep the Baroy. Um, Stalker is okay. It's like a nice top end, I suppose. Collector is a nice stat line. Yeah, I like our fours. Um, hmm. Maybe we don't need toxin analysis since we've got the deadly cover up. I think I do want to keep the reconstruction if at all possible. Okay, so this push pulls I'm going to put over here in the two drop slot. Down to 44 cards. And I think I think we can go 16 on on the lands here. Um, we don't have a super, super expensive deck. I don't know how good Warden is in this, is in this deck. It's, is a little spendy. I think like between these two, I like Crocodile a little bit more, even though the stats are a little bit lower, just giving those clues. Alley Assailant is a little replaceable. I think Medler's probably a little better. Um, I mean, playing as a 3-3 is not bad, though. <laughs> I guess, like, Medler's good if we want to beat down. Are we really kind of beating down? I think we have kind of a little bit of a slow burn deck, like with these dual leeches. See cutting meddler maybe. Um, Stalker is nice as it flies. How many creatures do we have? We have eighteen creatures. Okay. Might be able to cut like a dual leech, and then what else do we want to cut? I guess alley assailant is a little bit replaceable. Down to 16 creatures. I like all of our removal. Um, yeah, not sure what to cut here. I think I like our enablers here as well, just being able to kind of get stuff going into the graveyard. Makes our sample collector better. Yeah, I feel like it's between Warden and Stalker here. I kind of want to keep the rest of it. So maybe we cut Warden. Is it? Warden's just better in like green white specifically. It's a bit easier to like sometimes cast the Stalker. So I think I'm just going to stick with that. And then I think this is the deck. Let's go ahead and jump in. Definitely not sure about some of the cuts there. But I think we have a lot of stuff to do on two because we have so much removal. Yeah, this looks good. Maverick is definitely annoying since we've got Extract Confession. <laughs> but I guess we can try to use like Push Pull or something. OK, 
Okay, Analyst is a nice pickup. Oh, wow. Well, there, there goes the uh, deadly cover-up. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll just get Krakadolf going. Let's see, have we got any lands here in the yard? No, not yet. This is kind of nice though, it does give death touch, which is kind of great. So we can just go ahead and give this to our analyst. Um, just because it's a little harder to block. <coughs> now extract a confession is quite a bit better. Construction is nice. You can get back some good good options here, but I like just flipping up um, Crocodile this turn. So I think we just like full send. Um, they swing back for a decent amount here. I guess if this is if this is um, whatever the five four guy that pumps could be a little nasty. They functionally are adding like an extra five damage. So they swing for like 11, drop us to four. Could be kind of gross. Um, could also just like push pull here also. Hmm. I think maybe we leave the one three back and we just um, swing in with these two. Just to kind of hedge. And then yeah, if they don't block, I'm gonna flip this up, I think. We just take it here. No reason to jump yet. All right, so if we pull, can we swing for lethal? I don't think so. They're still at 12. Yeah, I think, hmm, I kind of like extract plus push-pull. I think we just extract and let them choose. So 
since we have the push pull also. Ooh, that's kind of nice. We could also push pull now, or we could try to um, save this for like potential lethal swing next turn. I think this is good enough, though. We can do this actually post combat, I suppose. All right, let's put the damage here. Then we can push pull post combat. So that's just game. Yeah. yeah, actually I was pretty impressed by the dual leech. It was pretty good. And like push pull is amazing. Like if we didn't have to use it to get rid of their guy there, that would have been like a lethal swing. I think in draft, I tend to be a little bit less greedy um, in terms of like splashing multiple colors. Um, it definitely leads to potentially lower power decks, but I prefer consistency over power, given a choice. And yeah, we've got plenty of stuff to do, both of our colors here, happy to keep. And even though it didn't end up mattering that last game, like having the reconstruction is really nice. Having access to like re replay those cards. It's also really good with the like the self millers. Long goodbye is nice. Kind of a slow hand here, not really doing anything, but that's okay. They've got a pretty slow draw as well, wow. A lot of draw go. I swear there are creatures in this deck somewhere. I don't think we need six mana particularly. I mean, we can use it for like push pull, but I think losing a land is fine. It's 
This would be a nice turn to draw like into our board wipe. But now I think we just long goodbye. Sort of slow things down. Actually, I probably want to hold the swamp just since we are up against a deck with black and unscrupulous agents. I guess it's possible that they have like the discard two card, but that's a pretty bad card. So I don't think many people are playing it. All right, <laughs> 27 cards to go. There are creatures in the deck, I promise. It's definitely the weirdest game of Magic so far. And I guess we could make a land drop, so we might as well just go and get one. Oh uh, yeah, let's get another forest. Interrogators are good. Have to wait for it to tap. Um, I guess we could analyst here. Okay, we at least have some creatures to get back, which is nice. So now we can get those back. I think these two feel pretty good. And now we can just play the Night Drinker. Still holding the Swamp in case they've got like another agent. in our graveyard. Sure. Now we can push pull. Wow. Okay. Good God. Can also extract as well. So I think maybe we just do that. Then we can use our other push pull to bring them both back. Oh, that'll be hilarious. Push pull can be a stone cold beating. Let's 
pretty good. Whipcracker is pretty good too. So we can set up for the big push pull. I mean, if we do it now, we swing for 10, which is not too bad. But I think setting this up is also pretty nice. Problem here is they get to, to, to um, Whipcracker doesn't really work this turn because they're not tapped out. They need to, they'll just sack a clue in response, which isn't great. But I think it's still fine. Just getting the body down. Hopefully no more board wipes. Good God, they have three interrogators in their deck? Oh my Lord. They're like legitimately going for the uh, poison out victory. All right, so we've got, let's see, six mana. If we bring back two of their persuasive interrogators, I guess we could give them four poison counters, which would be pretty funny. We don't have enough mana. Actually, we could give them eight poison counters by cracking two clues. That is pretty hilarious. It's not enough to win, though. So I think we gotta search for an answer here. Dual Leech is a good one. Yeah, I think we just set up another turn. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Eavesdropper but I think that's okay. Okay, no blocks. Do they have another board wipe here? Maybe it would have been better to chump, but like, I want to also give us the potential lethal. I feel like they have another board wipe here. I mean, why would they attack? It's crazy.
Ah, he stole him before we could use him. Oh no. Ah, oh, one turn away. Okay, I think we can still kill him though. Um, Cause we just push pull two other things. What do we get back here? Get back the Night Drinker. We'll lose some life, but I think it doesn't matter. Uh, Night Drinker and Whip Cracker. So that'll be seven. We'll have enough from the rest here. God, they had the seas back up. Jesus. What a beating. What a beating. Oh. What a ridiculous game this is. Alright, because next turn they want to do the stupid poison out victory. Um, they won't be able to, though. We should probably leave one guy back. Let's see if we can have four, six, eight, ten, thirteen. Don't quite have lethal. Yeah, I guess we'll leave the dual each back. Yeah, they can give us eight poison counters, but not quite enough. This has been a wild game. Like, you just know that's what they want to do. They want to get the victory off the poison. Close, but we're gonna get them, I think, just with the dual leech counters, unless they've got more nonsense. All right, here we go. Close game. Like the uh, the cease and desist when we tried to do pull <laughs> was a total beating. Oh my god. Did we still lose because of toxin analysis? Holy shit, we're still losing. <laughs> oh my god, what a beating. <laughs> that was a good game. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't believe we lost to that garbage.
<laughs> That's a cool deck. I mean, like, they definitely had, like, a plan and a dream, and they made that dream happen. But, uh, wow. That was wild. Like, if I knew what their deck was, I mean, we would have definitely, like, done pull the turn before they could get back their nonsense, but <laughs> hindsight's twenty twenty. All right, yeah, this opening hand looks great. I think we lead out here with the Gorehound because it does have Menace. Uh, whipcracker here maybe I guess like the turn hmm could start setting up with analyst um yeah we'll hold on to whipcracker for now we're pretty good on land we um we've got four between our hand and in play so i think we can let the let the land go it's also good for the analyst to get rid of the lands researcher is pretty good We just kill that right now, actually. That's a nasty card. We just get dual leech going here. Um, could go, I guess, like Rebel Belt plus Stalker. Dual Leash feels pretty good, though. Yeah, let's get rid of another land. I think we just put it on the Gorehound. Highly disenifies blocking. Great turn for Whipcracker. And Stalker. Ooh, Extract is good. We want to swing with dual leech. I guess we could have put the plus on dual leech there, pushed an extra damage. That actually might have been better to put it on dual leech. Um, I don't want to just trade this for analyst though.
So Inspector can block us, which is kind of annoying. Um, hmm. And they can choose to get the Morph or just like the Analyst. So Confession doesn't really work here super well. I guess we could still use the dual leech to put the buff and then flip in combat. That actually works. Oh, but you know what? Never mind. I needed the. Um, forgot I needed the five mana to flip this thing up. We just want to use Analyst, perhaps. So yeah, I think we're just still pushing with Gorehound here. It's not super exciting or interesting, but it's getting it done. They really want to make Prof's eidetic memory work. <laughs> Let's see, how many lands do we have to get back here? Quite a few. This is a nice combo here with the Gorehound and the Analyst. Now I think we want to get in with Maverick. Um, and I think we want to use Dual Leech on our, our Disguise card here so that we can get him. Still not, I think I'm just holding Extract for now. Okay, and then during the attackers, I'll just flip this up. I guess we could like wait to see if they block, but then they get a chance to like trade it for analyst, which I don't like. Now we can buff up our Stalker or the Whipcracker. Probably just the Stalker. I think I'm going to hold it though until next turn since we have so much mana. No reason to do it now. We could let them extend a bit and just try to like keep pushing here with our dual leech score hound combo and then eventually do like a deadly cover up. It's 
So yeah, I think we just hold back a little bit here. We could also play another dual leech and then like double pump the Gorehound, which is actually pretty na pretty nasty. Just going for single pump right now. I can over get them to overextend a little bit more. Good. All right, let's use, what do we want to use? It'd be like dual leech plus whipcracker. What are they most likely to have more of? Probably crocodiles. Okay, they've got a rival and reasonable doubt. Yikes. They have a crazy good deck. Another inspector. Fanatical strength. Not on my watch. Two case plus buried in the garden. All right. I guess there's no real benefit to playing the Rebel Belt Maverick on the Dual Leech since it can't pump itself now. But this also plays around their auspicious arrival, so this can just like beat this. We only have 16 cards left in, in our deck, so Analyst is a little dangerous here. But they are at six. Trying to remember what we saw, what their morphs were. I think it might be like a wooden, perhaps. But yeah, we just go and extract here. They can like, I guess they can, if it's a warden, that's a four, four. And then they use their auspicious arrival to beat our guy. We play around it by, um, by giving death touch. So I think we just do this over two turns here. So I think we have to give death touch to our analyst and then just attack with that unfortunately could also use extract first but i kind of want to get them to flip it here first so i have to be a little bit cagey here
Yep, and that's fine. Now we can extract and then um, they have to like draw into another creature. So I think we just extract here. Like we could wait, but I don't want to to give them like the profs and all the other nonsense. Okay, it's just Gardener. I guess they had Gardeners too. Ooh, investigator's rough. Okay, can push pull get it done? I think it can. Private eye. I just need two creatures that have three power, that's all. Um Bloomkin plus Basilica Stalker. Or Night Drinker. Yeah, we're push pull to victory. Alright, let's uh get a crocodile and a Night Drinker. Or how about a Basilica Stalker? Whew. And that's why Push Pull is an amazing uncommon. All right, two and one. It's already been a crazy draft. Some absolutely wild games. Opening hand looks great. Nice turn to analyst. And we hit two lands here for our analyst, which is giving it some decent value. Huh, that's interesting. Just getting it for the clue. Yeah, that makes sense. So we could go Gardener here and set up. I kind of like going for just pushing with Maroi. Um, hmm. Like we could go like Gardener into like Sample Connect Collector next turn, which isn't bad. We could just set up for Sample Collector now. Um, what do I want to do? I think I just want to start. Well, black has a lot of removal, so maybe we just go Gardener. Like, Maroi puts a pretty nasty clock, but they have so many ways to kill it. So, they also probably are potentially holding long goodbye here. Sample Collector is nice because getting an attack in, into a disguised creature, they could just kill it. I think I go Maroi here because it forces them to have the long goodbye. Yeah, there's like a lot of ways I could have played that. Um, they most likely just want to play a 
disguise creature here. And then we can just attack past them with our Moroi, which feels good. Could also just go like dual leech, push a little bit less damage. Yeah, I mean, this is more mana efficient, right? So I guess I'm okay trading here. Like we can go like this and push for four. It's not ideal. I guess they could just trade face downs. I don't want to miss out on the damage though. Yeah, Fairy Snoop. Just start setting up with Sample Collector. Um, and I still want to get value out of the Gardener so we can play this as a face down next turn. I really have been liking these slimy dual leeches. Like they definitely just make our deck so much better. Maybe I should put in the third one. I feel like things are kind of working this way though. We've got two. They are not having any of that sample collector nonsense. So yeah, we just go double morph, push. Oh god, do they have the deadly cover-up? That would be so awkward if they had one too. Push-pull is pretty good. What do we have access to? Maroi and Sample Collector. Or like Dual Leech. I think we can wait, because um, we want to flip our Crocodile this turn, I think. <sighs> I mean, this is a pretty nice combo too, though. Pushes four in the air. Dual Leech also. They'd have to double block here. Yeah, I think I just send. I guess technically I could have like flipped this up, go and get a forest and then played this, but this is fine. It might have been better. So I think this is game, because this then we just push pull on our turn, get back more money, plus another creature. And that should do it. Swing for exact lethal. Yeah, Maroi plus dual leech is fine.
Man, push pull is so good, it's ridiculous. Alright, three and one. Yeah, probably got to throw this back. We don't have access to both colors of mana. This could go south pretty easily. We are on the draw. We could potentially draw out of it. But we only have eight, eight swamps to find. So like a 25% chance. I guess we have like three draws to get there. So it's doable. Yeah, I mean, actually, as long as we get any land by turn three, we can still play, like, Stalker face down. Worst case scenario, if we just get to, like, four with, like, forests, we could use Analyst to get back some swamps. I think if we run the play, this would definitely be a mulligan. But because we're on the draw, we have, like, a decent chance to... We're like 25% each draw over three draws to find a swamp. I think we can actually keep this. This might be a greedy keep. We'll see. I mean, if we get like one swamp, this hand is pretty great. An analyst is decent at like holding off disguised creatures. The turn one mask maker though is kind of rough. We might just get run over here. Okay, well we've got three land, but no swamps. There's the swamps. <laughs> could pump here but yeah scapegoat before the disguised creature is interesting We need like swamp swamp deadly cover up <laughs> okay well that's a good draw Now they've got like potential offender at large. So that's like a seven four, potentially. Do we respect it? We lose a ton of value if we get blown out by it. Cause then it's a seven four, they take both of these down. We do buy some time. 
Um, if we draw like a land for a push pull though, it's pretty good. I think that's a big if though. I think we actually have to respect this. They could have actually a couple cards here that could blow us out. Like the plus three plus oh and first strike gets us. So does offender at large. I feel like it's offender at large. Otherwise they'd attack with both of their face downs. Okay, I mean that basically does the same thing. I guess it doesn't because of the the ward. So that's slightly better for us. I guess actually we want to keep the long goodbye. Let's go like swamp into long goodbye. That feels pretty good. And then if we can hit Aftermath Analyst, um, get back a couple more lands, which feels pretty good. But right now it's doing a lot of work as a 1-3. God, is that an artifact? Oh my lord, oh, that's a token. Oh well. <sighs> yeah, so I think we just gotta extract, basically. And that's fine. It makes our macabre reconstruction a lot worse, but... I think we need to kill that. Oh, I guess this is six by itself. That's nice. curious what this face down is like what would this be it's not a fender at large because they would have done that oh god two buzz crushers that's a beating that is a beating um god how do we deal with that Like push one of them. Gotta start pressuring them. I think we need to get this land. So I think aftermath aftermath analyst has to sack this turn. I kind of want to get dual leech going, but I think I need this to get like the basilica stalker going and then we can use like that plus whip cracker to block one or like maverick we need to get maverick into the graveyard is actually what we need to do so i think this needs to attack get this into the graveyard so then we can buff up our three four we probably just let it through yeah, that works. Um, I think we need, yeah, we need all of our mana now for the analyst, so we just sit. God, if they have an extra land, they can just go double buzz crusher. That is a beating. Yeah, we're 
we're super hard up for the land, so we just need the land. Okay, murder gets one of them, and push pull gets the other one. That works. We also have six mana, so we could flip this up to block. I think we just sit, wait for the attack, and we can blow them out with a 4 or 5. Yeah, I feel like that's the move. I still don't know what this face down is, though. I'm just trying to think, like, what could it be? Yeah, I guess Moroi makes sense. So we can use Whipcracker to block the Maroi. Push pull on the Buzz Crusher. Then we can attack with our Stalker and start gaining some life here. Um, it's a little thin, but I think that that's probably the play. We need to start working on their life total. Yeah, I don't think we need any more land. I think we can probably lose long goodbye. It doesn't really do much right now. Everything else seems a little bit better. Then like next turn we can go like eavesdropper to like hold down the ground and start drawing cards. Yeah, we've got them in a pretty good spot. For the moment. Opponent is deep in the tank. Yeah, I guess they're okay to trade here. Because then they can start pushing on the ground is the theory. We could hold the swamp um, if we're worried about like another agent. But I think it's better to have it up because then we can go like eavesdropper and then hold up murder. This way we've got them on a fortune clock. That'll shorten it considerably. I 
Man, the double buzz crusher though, that was pretty nasty. <laughs> That's why I think like uh, Macabre Reconstruction is so good. So if we wait to crack the clue till next turn, we can swing with eavesdropper as a 4-4, and then we'll be able to block profitably. But honestly, even if they triple block it, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. So I think I just do it now. And like next turn we go like dual leech plus Moroi. So yeah, overall, I've, I've actually been pretty impressed with the dust, the slimy dual leech. Like, it's not a perfect card, but it definitely helps some of our like lower to the ground threats get a little bit more traction, like the rubble belt and the snarling gorehound. Yeah, and that was pretty much it. Okay, four and one. Yeah, opening hand looks great. I've really been loving this Aftermath Analyst in Green Black specifically. Just lines up really well against a lot of other cards. Gives us nice stuff to get back. So now I think we just set up here with Moroi. I guess we could also like let them overextend into de deadly cover up, um, but they don't have like any kind of pressure. So I think we could do some work here with Moroi. So they've got some kind of, either like the plus three plus seven for a striker, plus two plus two. 
What do they get if this thing gets... They get to investigate. We've got a whipcracker there, so it's not as big a deal. I think we just block the frantic scapegoat here. See what they've got. Force them to use their trick. Now we just do a leech. Let me guys extract for whatever they decide to play. Yeah, I suppose they get a they get a clue out of this. Looking pretty good for Deadly Cover-Up. Um, we can get them to push more into it. Probably not. They just like use Inside Source to push for four. Like we've got two removal after Cover-Up here, so they got just attack for three and then Cover-Up. Um, they probably, what do they more have more likely to have more of? These are both commons. I could see them having more of those. Probably inside sources is a decent one to pick though. All right, let's, let's use Stalker here. See if we can find some more inside sources. Ooh, dog walker is actually a good one. I think I'm gonna maybe check for dog walkers. Aurelia, wow, they do have some gas for sure. On the job, makeshift binding, galvanize, detective, three red herrings, felonious rage, shock. Aurelia, Vigilante, two Offenders. So the only other face downs they have are Offender at large. Shock, Felonious Rage, Galvanize, on the job, Aurelia. Okay. Now we just need Whipcracker to go the distance. <laughs> okay, so much for that. Eavesdropper's a nice pickup, though. care about that.
Guessing they block here and draw a card. Yeah. But I feel pretty good we've got them covered for like the next couple of plays. So that's an offender at large. Can't flip it up. I guess we can long goodbye it. It's not a bad long goodbye target. Construction is good. Don't care about their 2 2. Let's get back Night Drinker. Guess we could play Dual Leech also. Yeah, let's get Night Drinker and Undercover Crocodelf. So I think we play Lure at 11, so Moroi is pretty good. Crocodile is 5 to flip up, we can still extract. Yeah, I guess we go Crocodile here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the extracts have been great also. All right, five and one. I really like this deck so far. Like, it just seems like a really nice grindy green-black deck. Um, the what is it? The research analysts or whatever the the one three guys have been great. Just setting ourselves up for graveyard recursion, especially with the push poles. Push pole has been the MVP by far, but yeah, opening hand looks great. Could use a little bit more land, but we've got the gardener. If we can draw another land here, and we're on the draw. Bustle, bustle, nice. I think we just wait and long goodbye, whatever they play. want the extra green for gardener here i mean we're gonna we'll have both but let's just go gardener They are demanding a lot of answers. I don't know that there are that many answers, to be quite honest. All right, I think we just shove, see what they do. 
see if we get some free damage in. Ooh, nice. Gotta love the free damage. Inspector off the flat, off the splash. Huh. could use reconstruction actually no um how do we want to do this i think i want to search i think i'll attack first and then search source yuck nothing really to do here to filter some more lands At least we have extract set up. Swing and a whiff. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to just play Leech. Leech has also been really good. Don't know if he knows how Death Touch works. We want to get back Nervous Gardener plus Eavesdropper. I mean, it's pretty good. We don't have anything else to do right now, so we might as well. That does make Extract Confession slightly worse. Quite a bit worse. Actually, no, we've still got six because of the reconstruction, so that's, that's good. this one is um i guess we want eavesdropper here plus gardener dual leech is fine too
So the face down could be maybe like a fender at large. Or like the 3 2 flying tapper. Okay. Samples collector is pretty good on this board right now. Um, do we have enough? Yeah, we can just go dual each plus collector. Question is, are we still pushing? I think we are. Feels good. But yeah, I'm curious what that morph is for the uh, disguise creature. I guess actually having their gravestone strider makes our push pull a lot worse. So it could be like this Fenestrated Phantom. Um, the only thing that really blows us out is if it's the Offender at large, because then they can get both of our creatures. So I think we just take it and see what they do. Okay, Alias Salem's pretty good too. Delph is nice. care about extract I mean we can get aggressive if we can get rid of their guy but I think keeping the extract is maybe decent as well we could push pull I think we just get in a sample collector actually
let's crack the clue. All right, that's pretty good. Now we can go double disguise creature and use gardener. Okay, that tapped a bit funny. <clears throat> I wonder why I was preferring to keep the black up. Like we can't use it, so. Huh. Oh well, it doesn't matter that much. Good old auto tapper. Ghost quarter. They got our dual leech. That's actually kind of nice because now we can push pull with impunity. I think we sit back with our dual leech. Probably and also the gardener. Okay, this is pretty good. This is setting us up for push-pull. Um, I guess let's go search. Filter a little bit more land. suppose we could extract here, but I don't think it matters. Yeah. Yep, they definitely flooded out a little bit. All right, that's going to do it.
Six and one, final boss. Okay, so we're on the draw. This is a similar situation where we've got um, eight forests in the deck. We have basically three draws or four draws to get there. We've got Gorehound, two extracts. I feel like this is actually a keep. So we're at like 25% chance over three draws to get a forest. And we have a Gorehound to help filter, plus we have two confessions. I think this is a keep. Dueling Gorehounds. So many Gorehounds. Um, yeah, it's not ideal, but I think we might have to extract just to try to keep afloat here. Just to slow the game, slow the game down a little bit. And I think we just want to keep extracting here, just to slow it down by time. And then I think even though we could push here, we, we just sit just to, um, I guess since they can do this at instant speed, it doesn't really help for us to sit back because they just can threaten to do it. But actually I think maybe just like blocking their guy um, and forcing them to like time walk themselves. Actually, they would they would just suspect themselves. Yeah, I think it's fine. So we just sit here. We miss a damage, but we like can essentially time walk them if they want to get around our girl hand. going to need to land at some point here. Okay, it does not help. Oof. Um, yuck. Getting close to chump mode here. Um, hmm. Maybe we wait one more turn to chump. Yeah, I think because they've got the Menace, maybe it's worth holding one more turn. Okay, down to 28 cards in library.
All right, this is pretty much just going to do it here. Um, I guess we can discard. Doesn't even really matter at this point. I guess the dual each, we could get that back potentially. If the game goes long enough. Actually, we should have discarded the Rubble Belt Maverick. Never mind. It's very irrelevant, but I think it could have possibly been relevant. Yeah, that's going to do it. I think we, we got down to 27 cards in library, so that was, what, six or seven draws of no land. All right, final boss, part two. Can we get there to seven wins? All right, opening hand looks great. Let's do it. Oh, that's nice. It's always nice when people say hello. Um, yeah, let's just wait for Gardner. We're in no rush. Very nice. All right, let's uh, go ahead and play another gardener. Nice blue red back here for sure. Definitely don't want to double block that. I think we can just push pull. Suppose we could threaten Crocodile here, double shove, push pull here, and then. Maybe drop like Stalker. Or I suppose maybe drop Crocodile. <sighs> Problem is, then they get in with their 3 2. They probably don't. Eh. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Okay, since we want to save Crocodile, I think maybe we leave Gardner back just to be safe. We're playing it a little bit slow, but I think that's okay. Now we just go Crocodile.
Steam Core Scala. That's a sweet rare. Really, really, really good card. Definitely want to get Stalker online soon here. Wow, they pitched a Galvanize? Jeez. Their hand has got to be insane. Okay. So I think let's go ahead and flip up to get another land. Now I think we shove, do we shove with everything? Ideally we want to flip Crocodile, so I think we leave a Gardener back to respect their If we just hard cast Stalker next turn, or if we go like Maroi plus Stalker. Okay, I feel like they might have access to counters here. Or something. Franco. Good lord. Franco is a beating, that's for sure. Well, at least we can kill it. Um, all right, so we kill Cranko. I think we do that plus Stalker. Got some nice rares, that's for sure. I think we go Stalker here. Yeah, their deck is really good. Alright, do we have enough for Analyst or the Clue plus Stalker? So I think we shove with Stalker. Let's see, why don't we do combat damage to a player? Get the life back. I think we must... Yeah, then we'll play Analyst so we can block their Drone Smith. It's not ideal, but it's... If we flip this up as a 3-4... Actually, they can just double block, and then it's awkward. Hmm. I guess we... Maybe we just play Analyst and just wait. I think that's probably the better plan. Okay, Rebel Belt. 
That'll be nice next turn. I think we just said. push. Alright, let's get him. Do they have the unauthorized exit? Hope not. Oh my god, that's a beating. That is such a beating with Snuffler. Good lord. Okay, I think we need to get Maroy going to try to win this game. Um, Alright, so how do we play this? We can use Maroy to block their 1-1. One, one. Um, I guess we can use Analyst to chump the 5-5. Five, five. Alright, so we go Maroy face down. to get here so that's fine uh, then we can rubble belt and stalker guess we can always flip Maroi next turn but I want to flip it to be able to block their 1-1 Yeah, Snuffler plus Drone Smith, that's a nice combo. Oh my god, they've got Satchel? Ugh. That is a beating. And they can sack both of them. Yeah, Snuffler's really good in blue-red. Okay, so they know what's up, unfortunately. So we could triple block Snuffler. Um, I think that actually might be correct. So they can make some more, like, Maroi is going to get... Like, they can make another 1-1 one, one flyer and just double block the Maroi. So we don't really have lethal next turn. So if we... If they've got a trick, though, it's super awkward. But if we triple block, even if they sack, this becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. I think this is the play. We could try to go like reconstruction.
All right, so we could sack analyst to make this cheaper. Get some land back. <sighs> Don't really want to sack the analyst though. I think let's get in with stalker, see what they do. I want to reconstruction for Maroy. So we get back Maroy and Sample Collector. Question is which one do we want to play right now? I think we want to be able to attack with Maroy. Or at least threaten. They'll be able to make another 1-1, one -one, which is super annoying. Yeah, like Drone Smith plus Satchel is so disgusting. Eavesdropper is pretty good. Can trade Maroi for both of their tokens. Start wearing them down. Alright, so we've got six mana. <sighs> eavesdropper, definitely want to get Eavesdropper going, I think. Well, we could get another Analyst going. If they have, like, ill-timed explosion, it's super rough, but I think we want to try to give ourselves the most options here.
yeah, orangutan's great in this deck. Interesting. Um, I think we want to search again, just in case we find some sort of removal. No. Okay. Guess we're willing to trade for orangutan here. Try to flood the board as much as possible here. Yep, filter out even more land. So I guess they could get us if they've got pump. got the deadly cover up back up so we can go for the all in uh, I think we put the counter on the gore hound and then that way block block should be lethal if they've got tricks though we're super done there. Woo! That was a close one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the draft. We ended up getting the final boss, 7-2. and two, And here is the sweet victory prizes. All right. We will see you uh, in the next one. And you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching.